In today's video, we're going to look at how to use the Canva doc, which is a very new feature that comes in with Canva. You can use it as a free user or premium user. You can still use it and fantastically you have access to all the features and you can download your content after creation in different formats. To start with, all you need to do is to come to your Canva website. You can just come to canva.com and then you can log into your Canva account using any of your login details. I've just logged into mine so to be brought into this. You can see different kind of things, different kind of templates, but you might want to try this doc. It's very, very interesting and it brings in ease of access directly. So to get to this doc, you can just come to docs over here and you have docs, your doc just directly from here, create a beautiful visual document. You just click on it to kick start and you'll be welcome to this very platform. You will be landed to this place where you have to start by creating a title, for example, subheading or a heading. So you can just say, learning about canva doc right you can hit on enter and one thing you should pay attention to is this plus sign so you can use it to navigate across to add different kind of features and to add different kind of things you can either use it or you can wire and use the forward slash to have the access to all the different features that you can add for example i want to add some simple heading or a subheading for example subheading i want to learn about how to add texts and format texts as a subheading and then you can come down here and add basic text so you can just click and you can go ahead and say you want to add a body so you can just put in any body from anywhere so for example i have these texts just past it so you can see you've just added a given body and you can go ahead and customize and format accordingly usually once you want to format any text you can just select it and you have the full option of text formatting you can change the font styles over here you can change it to anything Montserrat or you can just select any of the styles you can go ahead and change the the font the font size you can increase the font size or decrease accordingly and you can change the coloration as well you can add any color to your text if you want you can add any color or you leave it at default try to add a color you can bold the entire text you can interlace you can underline the given section of it or the whole of it once you have it selected you can do all this and you can do a lot of justification or alignment you can align center you can align right you can align left you can justify directly on your own you can add bulleted points for example you may want to select these points and you can make them bulleted okay let's make them bulleted points and you can just go ahead and move them to the center or they are about to move them across while they change the bullets in type and you can select also and play around with the vertical spacing okay so you can click and see the line spacing and play around with the line spacing for from horizontal point of view you can increase or decrease and then you can go ahead and play around with the line spacing as well this is the letter spacing okay. this is the line spacing you can increase or decrease you can increase or decrease the spacing just like so and all you need to do is just to play around with this plus sign or the magic sign or you can go ahead and use the forward slash to, to just enable the next feature that you want to add so with the plus sign you can click on the plus sign and you can add a design on your own you can add a design within like within canva that you want to bring in or just click and it will just take you out and you can just add your design once you finish adding you can just click on save for example you may want to add a banner to your to your document you can just go ahead select or to start your business and once you're starting with this you can select and do all sort of editings from the banner also just like when you have in canva you can change the coloration over here you can change color you can select an image you can crop it if you want or you can go ahead and edit the image uh, edit the image you can put in different kind of features you can edit the contrast you can edit the brightness and, and so on you can play around with all these you can come down also and put in some filters if you have any that you are specifically interested or you can do the new tool that had been introduced in Canva, which is the auto enhance and this is going to automatically enhance the image originally for you and you can just go ahead and work with it directly so this is a preview and you can just go ahead and apply or you can increase the intensity right wherever you want you can apply and it's going to take the effect on your image you can come to the text as well and you have the ability to edit all the text features, the top font styles and all that you can do with centralizing and adding effects as well if you want. You have a number of effects that you can add to the text, you can add these lifts and you can add this uh, very background if you want, but I don't want it to have the background, better have the glitch and then the lifts 
I think it's okay. This is okay. And you can all group, all group, or check around the check about the transparency. You can play around with the transparency. You can link things if you want. If you have any web page, you can link directly. But then when you once you are starting with what you have, you like what you see over here, you can just go ahead and save this. And it's going to fall back into that particular document that you're working on. So this is how to bring in graph designs. And you can embed other designs as well. If you have other designs you're working on, you can just go ahead and embed them. So you can click also, you can go ahead and come down. You can add tables. You can specify the number of rows and columns. And once you hit and see, you can uh, customize the table. You can go ahead and type in any content. Okay. You can put in different kind of features, a phone number, and uh, maybe address. You can add different kind of things. You can select and you can increase. You can play around with the sizing of the cells increase or decrease them accordingly and you have the table features as well you can you can put the outer borders in the entire cell in the entire table or in the cell that you've selected you'll be able to put the uh, the outer border if you want the outer border if you want the you want to change the line thickness you can increase the border width you can do all that from here change the different line types you can do all that from the selected cell you can see it right here so down here you can still add more you can click on the plot sign you can come down and you can add different kind of things you can add the um, the pie chart if you want to add a pie chart you can see if added a pie chart you can go ahead and specify what kind of parameters you want to deal with you can just play around with them and once you're setting you can just see the effect is going to be on the pie chart that you've just added so you can see uh, it's very very interesting and nice and you can go down again and add other features you can go ahead and maybe you can add a bar chart add a bar chart and go ahead and customize the results from here you can give the series names and items you can give names and you can add and clear data accordingly you can go ahead and check the settings if you want to show levels if you don't want to show the grid lines you can enable or disable accordingly you can see plot as rows or as columns you can interchange rows and columns accordingly so just like so and then you can come down here and add very many basic things like you can come down and add line chart if you want if you have any line chart that you're targeting you can go ahead and plot your x and y's and you can specify the parameters as you wish and you can just go ahead and customize it to your liking and you can play around with the coloration of the line as you so wish and they put the points you want it to be something like this or something like this and you can increase the size or decrease the size uh, very nicely so it's a very, very interesting development on Canva. You can just click and add as many things as you want. Bullet at least or number at least. You can just go ahead. You can see test one. You can hit and half test two. And you can have them to be numbered. Very, very nice and, and fun. And another feature that I find very, very useful and I feel like sharing with you guys is the Magic Write, which is available also on this very dock. Uh, document you can just click on this and you can see it's the first one magic right you can just select and you can add this you can ask this magic right to write on any topic of your choice you can ask it to write something about video editing or you can ask it to write something about youtube content creation or any cost topic of your choice if you heard about chat gpt this is something like it that you can use it to create content for yourself so for example i want you to write write about about youtube youtube content creation so you can just hit on enter i will just one click it's going to generate content for you and you can see it boom see creating content for youtube can be a great way to showcase your creativity and reach a wider audience okay so there are lots of different types of content available to create from vlogs to reviews to tutorials and gaming videos you can see with just simple click you were able to use the ai tool to generate this fantastic content that you can use for your own content and you can interact with it you can add more you can select and write as many things as you want now one thing you should pay attention to is it drops the title or the text or the content you've just asked it or what you ask it to write you drop the title over here and then it will write the content for you so it's a very cool feature and nice that you can just go ahead and explore and try on your own you can see we've just written quite a lot of things and once you're starting you you, you like what you see and you, you can add as many things as you want even emojis you can bring in emojis to make your writing or editing fun so for example this good luck you can add some emoji to it so for example i just hit on 
this and I want to add a smile. So all you need to do is to put the color and then you can add smile. And you can see, hit on enter. And you see it has added a smile emoji for you. You can add any kind of emoji. For example, you want to add the apple sign. You just hit on the column sign, put an apple. And you see, it's going to add the apple emoji for you. Very, very fantastic and nice. So you can hit the, the emoji, the column sign, and say maybe you want to add a hamburger. So you can just go ahead, you can add it, and you can add a hamburger or at any given point within your text to just make it interactive. You may want to add thumbs, okay, a thumb. You just hit on the column and then you can put in thumb and we can see it just added for you just like so. So it's very, very easy to coordinate and to add emojis to just make your work fun, to make it interesting. Another thing you can add is you can invite people to work with them within this very document. You can add, add people, you can call out people to work as a team within this very document. You can be editing the same document with your team members. So all you need is just at any given point, you can just highlight anything and you can add comments. For example, you can highlight this. You can add comments from here and you can call out anybody. For example, you can put in the ad sign and you can say Epic Mentorship. You can call on someone and say, please add a description here. Or you can add the comment and that person you called can just go ahead and work on this document and you just uh, see this uh, effect and just add the, the document. You can work collaboratively very nicely. And then you can embed other designs as well. If you have other designs, maybe presentations, you can just go ahead and embed it into the same Word document. So you can just go ahead, select, uh, maybe you can come down and say embed. And you can see over here, you can just pass the link to that presentation or anything. So for example, if I have a presentation somewhere, let's say presentations here, let's see a sample, something just something simple. So we can just select this. For example, we want to just show this very simple presentation or we can add different slides. You can add just to add, maybe you can have maybe like three slides and then you can select this link. You can just copy this link and then you can come down back to the same page. You can paste this link. You can paste the link and hit on enter and it's going to embed that particular presentation that you've just had. And you can see it has just embedded it. You can double click to see the the impact and you can navigate to interact with it you can navigate from one slide to another within the same uh, document that you have so basically this is how to add different features within the document file document file that we've created within canva platform it's very easy to use and you can import different media as well to add if you want to add anything you can easily import and you can add and add logos as well if you want or you can just easily drag and drop features you can upload your features just drag and drop them here or you can upload media different kind of media or you can add different kind of elements you can easily add all that with just simple click you can add lines you can add different kind of things according to what you are creating and according to the kind of content you're working on so i think you can it's a very great feature that canva has introduced you can go ahead and give it a try you can walk along and try to see what on what you can do depending on the message you're trying to create and i think that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and remember to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this